everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and today I would like to show you how to crochet this very beautiful and super fast and easy dishcloth. This is a really great beginner project and if you are just starting to learn to crochet, I think this will be a great project for you. I am using half double crochet into the back loops to make this beautiful ripping effect. And I really like these dishcloths because they keep the shape very nicely. These are always my favorite dishcloths to make for myself and for others. So let's just get started. To make the dishcloth, we are going to be using Drops Paris in color 59. We will also need a five millimeter crochet hook. We will need a darning needle and some scissors. To begin, we are going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop and take my working yarn behind the loop and grab the working yarn with my crochet hook and pull tight. Then I'm going to make 39 chains. And to make a chain, I will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And I'm not going to make my chains too tight. So just with a very loose hand, make 39 chains. To start my first row, I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and here into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And again, a half double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And I will just do that into every chain across, all across the row. And here at the end of the row, I'm going to chain one and I will turn my work. And for row two, I will only be working into the back loops of the stitches. As you can see here, we have two legs here in the stitch. This is the front and this is the back. But I will only be working into this back one. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook here into the back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And I will do that again into every stitch across the row. So yarn over, insert into the back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. I now only have one stitch left of the row and here I'm going to insert my hook into both legs of the stitch. So into the whole stitch I'm going to make a half double crochet. And I'm going to do this for every row just to make the edges here more 
firm and nice and neat. So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And row three will be made in exactly the same way as row two. So I will yarn over, insert my hook into the back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And I will continue all the way across the row. And again here at the end, I'm going to make a half double crochet into the whole stitch. So into both legs of the stitch. And I will yarn over and make a chain and turn my work. And from here I can just continue to crochet each row in exactly the same way as row 2 and row 3. And I will be making a total of 23 rows. I have now finished all my 23 rows, so I'm going to fasten off. So I'm going to pull my yarn and cut. And tie a knot. So we're all done, so I'm going to weave in my ends on the back side. So I'm just going to weave in back and forth to make it very secure. And that is how you make this very beautiful and easy to make dishcloth. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions or any suggestions for what I could make in my next video, please feel free to write me in the comment section. I would really love to hear what you think. If you would like to see a lot more of my content, I would suggest that you subscribe to my channel. I plan to upload a lot more of crocheting tutorials in the coming future. So I hope you will join me and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.